Once you've installed the software, simply double click on the icon to initiate. Once the main screen comes up, you'll be prompted to capture the scan. Do this by clicking capture scan bottom. Center of the patient's lesion and hold the button down in the size of the handle. My mate will then give you five different views of the lesion using different waveforms and light forms. Uh, first, straight color scan the lesion. Also on the right hand side you'll find your zoom in and zoom out. Also your color fade in and out which will work on the other options. Next light waveform is the blood cells associated with the lesion. This particular one they are uh, none. Next is melanin, dermal melanin, and collagen. You'll then be prompted to locate where the lesion was on the body. In this case, it was just on the arm. You can then score the lesion. It will go through a series of questions asking you, in this case, are there any bright dots within the lesion? In this case, there is no. You'll also see examples of what the question is referring to throughout each question series. This is what you're looking for when scoring the lesion. Current scan, none of those are looking like there are any bright dots there, so we just simply say no. Next one is asking for a melanin brain pattern, and it would be an example of what that looks like once again on the examples below your scan. Once again, there is no melanin brain pattern in this particular scan, so it did no. Now we move to the uh, screen. Does the lesion contain any blood lake hues? Uh, once again, it will provide examples for what you're looking for on the current scan. And once again, the scan is looking fine, so it did no. Is there any dermal melanin within the lesion? Are there any bright colors within the lesion? We're looking for a very fluorescent bright pattern of uh, reds, blues and greens in this case. Once again, no. So you just continue throughout these questions, which will obviously um, hold your hand essentially through the diagnosis of any lesion you may feel you need additional help with from the program. Once again, just follow the prompts. We'll give you samples of what you're looking for. And uh, last question, we'll actually ask you to measure the scan. 3.38 centimeters, uh, millimeters, sorry. That is less than six millimeters of the question. So the answer is no, it is not greater than Software then ask you the age of the patient, or the age range of the patient. Click the appropriate answer. Now the MoleMate system will give you an automatic scan um, score between one and 12. A score of six or greater suggests that the lesion is suspicious. In this particular case, the score of the lesion is two. So the lesion in this particular case is not suspicious. Uh, patient can be deemed safe on this particular scan. You can go through that process again if you feel like you've missed any skips, um, steps or skipped anything. If you're happy with that report, you can simply print the report. You can add any notes. Generate a simple report. Save it to preferred location on your computer. Call 
this Peter Smith. And we'll save as a PDF file. So the report's generated, gives you a detailed analysis of the scan and the related angles and light waveforms of the lesion that can be attached to the patient record or forwarded to a specialist if necessary. Add your own notes and patient data as, as well. And that is a very basic run through of the Molemate software. If you have any further queries, please contact the Zone Medical Office.